Hello, everybody. I am Yolanda Marie. I have some information, some messages from the Arcturians. Also, the higher selves have really been giving me a lot of messages. And for those of you who are a little bit newer to how the information comes through me, the higher selves and guides tend to contact me before they want me to put information out. And this is going to involve those of you who are going to incidentally end up hearing this message. I'm very conscious of this. <laughs> so I've been getting a lot of messages here and there, like nudges basically about what all of our higher selves, okay. Um, specifically a collective of pretty high frequency people, who are either awakening. Okay. There's a few groups of you. All right. So there's ones of you who are going to be awakening. We'll use that word to a lot of what's going on on the planet. Some of you are awakening energetically. So you're awakening to like gifts and expanding how you can utilize quantum information in your field and the five senses expanding into more extrasensory perception. Then there's the collective of people who are teachers, which that's going to run the gamut, right? Um, who also give information. So throughout these, it seems like it usually flows with these three groups typically. So there's a lot of information that wants to come in and the higher selves really want to keep you abreast of what's going on um, with a couple of different things. Also, the Arcturians really want to keep us motivated and focused on what is going right underneath the scenes or behind the scenes, because there's a lot of distraction as per usual. Okay. Um, a lot of distraction. So let's get into it. Okay. Light is going to be shown on something sort of unexpectedly. So there's this type of unexpected surprise kind of energy that might funnel through situations. Now they're bringing it to the forefront based on the entire planet. There's this sort of truth type of energy. Okay. And people are going to be finding the strength to cut something off amidst confusion. Now for weeks now, the Arcturians have been talking about this unity consciousness that's forming behind the scenes. This is really important again, so we don't get distracted. Okay. You guys with the smoke and mirrors tactics that happen. So this is IE politics, social institutions that don't want to release the grip. Okay. <laughs> Fighting over resources, things like this. That is on its way out, but it's going to take some time. And so within it, it's easy to kick up dust, right? Stir up a lot of drama. A lot of that has been going on. That's what you're going to see through what we commonly think of as the media, especially in the United States and especially in other, what we tend to call modern countries, right? So, but overall the energy that's rushing through because energy is always counterbalancing. Remember, that's the way it works. That's just, this is science. Um, and, but we won't get into the details of that during this transmission, but there's a sword of truth energy, a very strong one that's going to urge people to cut something off amidst this type of confusion. There's a clearing of some sort of fog and a breaking through of illusions. Uh, remember underneath the surface, and these are the Arcturians, energy is still shifting and it's really almost pushing steadily toward like a clear resolution and a more unified planetary stability. So for everyone to know here, who's listening, you have a great potential to alchemize or transmute something. And this is the word that the Arcturians used something unsightly, something unsightly to you, something that is literally offensive to where you are now in your journey. <laughs> That's a funny, and it's not something that should be a funny thing to laugh at, but it's just so contradictory to really where your frequency is if you're listening to me. But that is how it might come to you, like as literally unsightly, okay? But there is a great potential to alchemize this into something beautiful, to transmute this into something beautiful. Strong energy here. This energy is going to also appear within structural institutions within communities, within governments, however you want to think of it, anywhere where people go to either get resources, become educated, get medical care, something like that. Okay. There is a rocking in those foundations right now. 
structurally, and it's due to the heart frequency cascading across the planet. There's an uptick happening right now in the expansion of heart frequencies. A lot of people are talking about this, okay? So you can find information about this heart-mind consciousness. Also, if you're here, your higher self is really pushing you to open your heart. This isn't something that is like this sort of frou-frou, you know, let's ignore what has gone on that we see is wrong and unhealthy for the planet, for its people. It's not ignoring that to focus on the heart. The heart frequency is what is going to Let's use the word fix, adjust, shift things, change things. That is literally the tool. And from a scientific perspective, what it is you picture in your mind's eye that you desire is the frequency of the heart. <laughs> so look at it that way, okay? So it's not anyone, you know, going soft or giving up a fight. That's, it's the opposite of that. It takes a lot of strength to focus around the distractions happening on the planet at this time. This is coming through from the higher selves and I did not expect to be saying all of this during this transmission, but here it is guys. A lot of you are very, very happy to hear this. This is confirmation for you. Many of you are realizing this, hearing this is activating you right now. Your heart awakening is what is going to heal a situation that you no longer desire to be prevalent on the planet at this time. So within those situations we just talked about, those structural situations that are being changed, people are really with really good intentions coming together that you wouldn't expect to come together, okay? You wouldn't ordinarily see these types of pairings. You're going to continue uh, to see more and more of this. And it's because of this heart frequency. And so the Arcturians are pointing out here, there is a continued determination through whatever illusions might come about within the next week or two. And you know how time is. This is really for this next week, right? So around the 11th to around the 17th, but everything is fluid and everything is in motion. So just us talking about this is helping provide momentum here. Okay, it's also gonna shift situations in your life individually and may cascade out depending upon who you are listening. And it's very positive. Now there will be a possible counterbalance as well because that is how energy works. Picture in your mind's eye a pendulum swinging. Okay, or you can picture the waves of the ocean. You've got the ebb and the flow. This is the nature of things, okay? Don't let it freak you out. And it's also responsible for some of the distraction. And so despite this heavy, what they're calling distortion energy, right? That is going to try to counterbalance the heart consciousness, earth mother and the entire planetary consciousness. This is all beings non-human beings as well, because yes, there are non-human conscious, intelligent, sentient beings. They do exist on this planet. We are not able to see them yet as a collective, okay? Uh, for some of you who are newer, I know how that sounds. They are creatures who pop in and out of other dimensions as that's the way we would perceive it, okay? They're layered on top of our reality, but they can interact with our reality and they will eventually interact with our reality consistently as we are becoming more conscious of them, okay? They will feel a measure of safety. They will feel more comfortable in our environment and us in theirs. So this just takes time. Wow, so didn't expect also to talk about that today. <laughs> but so Earth Mother and this entire planetary consciousness, um, and also this includes your higher selves and the higher selves of those beings pushing this as well. That's something that really wants to be said. This is continuing to work together to clear through these distortions. So that's really, really active uh, this coming week, you guys. Okay, clearing distortions, clearing really what we would use the word perhaps negative, right? It's just a word, but it's really in this sense going to apply to energies that we would perceive as unhealthy and do not provide a very good foundation for the type of society that we want, okay, that we think is fair, that we think is equal, that we think is full of joy and love and ease and abundance for everyone. 
not just a few, okay, but everyone. And abundance, fully abundant, by the way. So not everyone getting a little bit, but everyone being extremely abundant. And so now the Arcturians are coming through to remind us. So really what that consists of and what that means is everyone creating from this higher frequency. And that's why the heart consciousness is important. Okay, so in order to get this sort of thing, you create from a particular standpoint. So you can't create from within the energy of the distortion. This is an important thing coming through now. <laughs> okay, and these, these are the Arcturians, okay? So there's Arcturian energy coming through. There are many activations coming through at this time. So you can give yourself permission to receive these activations as they come through beautiful soul family. <laughs> Okay. I love you so much. Please continue to take care of yourselves as the solar consciousness. That's how it's coming through. The solar consciousness is also participating in distributing the, these energetic activations, this quantum information, basically. Okay. So again, I love you so much soul family. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Namaste.